Prior to 1991, basketball was the second most popular sport in Somalia. Women competed nationally and internationally without fear of social humiliation. After the civil war, the warlords and later the extremist groups declared playing basketball as punishable and communities considered young girls' participations in sports shameful and forbidden. As Somalia rebounds from its dark past, the United States Agency for International Development, USA, partnered with the Somalia Olympic Committee to facilitate basketball training for women from all seven regions of the country. Each team were trained by former basketball players. At the trainings, women were selected to represent their region in the first national women's basketball tournament held in over two decades. <laughs> Garaway, Puntland, was selected to host the first Somali National Women's Basketball Tournament for the first time in 26 years. Teams from multiple regions who would otherwise not meet traveled together by plane to Bosaso, then by bus through Puntland, a state that has been targeted by Al-Shabaab and the Islamic State over the last year. Seven basketball players from the diaspora who undoubtedly had an eye-opening experience also joined the teams. It was the same wording every single time I got people, be safe, be safe. And you see what people have struggled with just to be here today, just to be playing on that court and nothing else in the world matters. I only expect like two, three tournament, like a day tournament, we're gonna be over with it. When I've seen so much girls, I'm like, whoa, this is amazing. Like, really girls come out here doing this, even knowing that people don't allow it still. One day before the opening of the games, a group of Somali clerics issued a fatwa, or an official decree issued by religious clerics banning the tournament and describing it as un-Islamic and threat to Muslim faith. Despite the fatwa, the majority of the citizens and the government welcomed the games and enthusiastically rallied behind the tournament. This doesn't have like article or something saying that they don't want us playing basketball and they're still willing to come here and play like that's love. The Banadir team won the tournament but the biggest win was the amplification of women's voices in Somalia, unity and rejection of extremist threats. The tournament in Garaway unified women from all regions of Somalia and put women's sports back on the map. It shows that sports could bring everybody together. The whole city came out for this tournament. Women that don't know what a three-pointer is were yelling, three, three, three. And they're excited, singing songs. Oh, it's so beautiful.